Are you a pastor feeling overwhelmed by the demands of ministry and struggling with internal battles? You're not alone. Welcome to Pastors in Recovery, a safe space for pastors to share, heal, and grow. I'm John, a grateful believer in Jesus Christ, and I've walked a similar path of overcoming internal struggles. In today's episode, we'll be diving into the whole idea of how do you build a recovery team. Together, we'll share experiences, offer support, and discover pathways to healing. Whether you're dealing with burnout, addiction, or other struggles, there is hope and freedom in Christ. So let's break the silence surrounding the difficult personal issues in ministry, and let's find healing together. All right, let's get right into it. So how do we build an accountability team? Well, Before we get into how to build it, let's talk about why we need to build a team. The first thing is you cannot do this alone. Now, I've been talking about this in the previous podcast, and we're really going to kind of unpack this today. You cannot do this alone. If you try to do this alone, you're going to continue to fail because that's what happens when you do this alone. People need partners. You need need a moving buddy. If you watch Toy Story, that's what you need. It's like... um, If you're swimming across the canal and you get tired, you need someone else to hold you up because you can't make it the whole way. Now, sometimes as pastors, it's easy for us to think that we only need God. And yeah, we do need the Lord and we teach others to lean on God. And we probably have a good relationship with the Lord. You spend time in prayer. You're probably in the word. You know, you have to prepare for sermons and counsel people. And I mean, you're praying a lot. And you're helping a lot of other people. But when it comes to your own recovery, you got to get serious about building the team. And God wants you in relationships. God doesn't want you to do it alone. You cannot do recovery alone. You can't do life alone. You don't want to do life alone. That's why you have, you're probably married. That's why you have kids, you have family. We don't do things alone, right? And, but why do we think that we can you know, fix ourselves or something. So when it comes to recovery, God wants you to do it in community as well. So the question I'm asking you today is, are you serious about building your team? You need to get serious about that. You got to be intentional. It's not going to just happen, right? So sometimes we're like, okay, I'm going to build a team. Well, I got this one person that I can talk to. That's great. And that's what we need. But one person is not a team. You need a team. So let's talk about this. Um, How do you build a team? Well, the obvious answer is you need to start praying. You got to ask God. Ask him to provide you with specific people for your team. He will help you. When I first started getting in the recovery as a pastor, I started praying for, I was praying for a sponsor and it just wasn't happening. So I did get a sponsor and him and I um, spent some time together, but because of circumstances, we ended up kind of going separate ways. Although now we're actually good friends. And I mean, it wasn't like there was anything bad necessarily. It's just that, you know, circumstances just made us uh, not continue on. And that's okay. Um, When you have a sponsor, you can fire them and they can fire you. You know, it's not like You have to do this. It's something that we want to do and we feel led to. So I want to tell you real quick quick about how God answered my prayer. Um, So as I continue to look for a team, as I was looking for a sponsor, God brought me a guy. He brought me a guy that couldn't have been any better fit. Uh, Not only was he in recovery like me, his main um, issue in recovery was the same as mine. Um, he's in the same, uh, denominational background as me. Um, he, he's married to a woman who's in the same medical f- field as mine, and they are also friends. And it was just like this crazy, perfect fit. And I prayed and prayed and it seemed like for years it never happened. And finally God brought me this, this guy into my life. And, um, it's been incredible how him and I have been able to, uh, meet on a regular basis, you know, and I share with him what's going on in my life, and it, it makes a huge difference. So let's talk about, before you ask people to join a team, um, what, are, what are some questions you want to ask yourself about the people you're going to ask to be on your team? What would you want to ask them, or what do you need to know about them? And I would say the first thought is, have they been in recovery of any kind? I think that since we're talking about, you know, someone to help you in recovery, 
you're going to want someone who's been in recovery. Ask the question, where are they in their recovery? You know, are they just starting off? Have they been in recovery for many years? Are they further along than you are? This is important. Um, if they're further along in their recovery than you are, then they could probably help you get further down your journey of recovery, um, which is like a coach. So I want to talk about this because there's a difference between what we would call a sponsor and accountability partner. Now, every um, industry, workplace, school, whatever has its own insider language and, and recovery is no different. So when we say sponsor, we're basically saying coach. When we say accountability partner, we're basically saying team. So a lot of us guys like professional football. So let's use that as an analogy. So in a football team, you are on a team. You're one of the players, but you don't play the game alone. You can't win a football game by yourself, right? Even if you're the quarterback and amazing, you still cannot win that game by yourself. You need blockers. You need to be able to hand the ball off to somebody or throw the ball. And then when the other team has the ball, you you need other defensive players on your team, right? So um, if you're going to win the game, you need a team. Accountability partners are those people. They are the players on your team. They are in the game like you. So you can encourage one another. Uh, you know, how you doing this week, Um, you know, that kind of stuff. A sponsor, on the other hand, is more like the coach of the team. He's the guy that, you know, shows you how to do it. He's been down that road. He's played the game for many years. Now he's coaching. This guy has wisdom. He's the guy you want to talk to about the hard stuff. He's the one that can help you get to be part of a team, a winning team. He's going to help you cross the finish line. He's going to help you get into the end zone, so to speak. So the next thing you want to ask the people that are going to be on your team is what level of commitment can they provide you based on the time that they have available? Um, You might find like somebody who seems like the perfect person to be your sponsor, but they just don't have the time. They don't have the time in their schedule, so it's not going to work. So obviously the question is, is is this person going to be a good fit? Um, Personalities do matter. Uh, Do you guys like each other? You get along? You know, do they have compassion for you? Uh, Are they the kind of person that wants to help you? Are they going to kind of preach at you? Are they going to try to fix you? A good sponsor is not trying to fix you. They're trying to help you get further down the road of recovery. And right now we're going to take a break. We'll be right back. Are you looking for a safe place where you can talk to other pastors with full anonymity and confidentiality? Celebrate Pastors in Recovery is just that place. In a Celebrate Recovery group, you'll be working with other pastors going through the four books of Celebrate Recovery Step Study series. Each pastor will be in the exact same place you're in, giving themselves wholeheartedly to this. When you join a group, you're going to know that you're going to be able to talk to other pastors who can relate through the different things that you go through in your life. I am confident by you joining a CPR group today, you will be able to find freedom from your hurts, your hangouts, and your habits. Think about it. Where in this world can you take time to actually spend with other people where you can completely open up and share those deep things that you've never been been able to share before. This is that kind of place. So I encourage you to sign up. Go to cpr.celebraterecovery.com. cpr.celebraterecovery.com. All right, cool. So now the next thing is you are going to be looking for people that you can trust with anything. Well, maybe you don't trust them completely and spill your guts out, you know, on the first meeting, but you know, do you think that the kind of person that you could develop that kind of relationship? That's important. So I am not going to pretend that this is easy. Finding a team, building a team is hard, but it's something that you need to work on. No one's going to do it for you. The more players on your team, the better chance of success you're going to have. So what do you do? You pray and you keep praying. So where do you look? Well, I have a couple of ideas here. You can start looking at your own lifetime close friends. Maybe some of them have been in recovery or maybe they're just somebody who could be like an accountability partner. Maybe they're not in recovery, but they would be there to encourage you and they'd want to do that, right? There's people like that. That'd be great. So look for those close friends. Um, Look for people in small groups. There may be people in the small groups you're part of that you kind of see and you're like, you know, they might be a really good person to be an accountability partner or they might actually be a good sponsor. 
Now, here's the big thing. How are you going to look for people in your small group if you don't have a small group? Pastors need community, not the ones that you're doing for ministry. I'm talking about something where you are part of it alongside other people that are just like you. So where do you find these kinds of groups? Where do you find pastor groups that you could be a part of? Well, you can search online and there's probably a lot of them. And you're going to find that it's going to take time to build trust. And you're going to be able to find that person, possibly. But you have to make the first step. You're going to have to take that chance. But again, as I do every week, I want to encourage you to be a part of a pastor group to get a part of something you can get close to a person you can trust. Accountability partners are great. Because it's not like a sponsor where you, you know, coach where you have to have them be way further along than you accountability partner is somebody that they're in the game with you so it could be a family member although that's usually pretty sketchy like i said it could be a friend it could be somebody in a group uh maybe other pastors that you know in your community or you work with or pastor friends from bible college or or friends from high school christian friends that you grew up with you look 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 you know i mean we got facebook we got social media there are people out there that will be your accountability partner important thing is that you know you can trust them and you can share anything with them and it'll be safe One of the things that we talk about in our CPR groups is we want to have full accountability. So that means full anonymity and confidentiality. Nobody knows you're there. Nobody knows what you've said. Everything that is shared in the group stays in the group. And the same is true with accountability partners. The same is true with your sponsor. If you share something with them, it stays with them. They don't go and share you know, go home and talk to their wife. Hey, guess what so-and-so is dealing with? We should pray for them. Nope, we don't even do that. We just don't do anything. Okay, so let's talk about therapists. This is the last thing I want to bring up. Therapists are great because you can use this therapist to speak into your life and help guide you. Just remember they're not recovery leaders. Their goal from the therapist that I know of, their goal is to get you to come to the conclusion of what you can and need to do for your own life. They're going to help you discover those steps and how to get there. But in the end, you've got to do the work, right? So a therapist is a great person to add to your team. Also, you might want to consider a life coach. They can help tremendously in helping you like losing weight, um, eating healthy, uh, you know, just career issues, things like that. So I want to wrap this up and I just want to say thanks for listening today. Um, I'm really, really hoping that you will find that team that you will begin praying and that God will help you to uh, lead you to the right people. The main thing is do not do a recovery alone. Do not do your recovery alone. You need to build an accountability team. I want to thank you for listening today. As always, like and subscribe to this podcast so that others will see your interest and that'll encourage them to be a part of it as well. And as always, may God bless you and give you peace.